ExpressVPN Guide, Set Up Media Streamer on Samsung Smart TV. This tutorial will show you how to set up your Samsung Smart TV to use Media Streamer. Note, this tutorial was written using a Samsung 5500 series Smart TV. The steps to changing the DNS should be similar on most Samsung Smart TV's contents, get your DDNS hostname. How to register a hostname on ExpressVPN.com. Access Network Status. Access IP Settings. Change DNS Settings. Validate Connection Success. Restore DNS Settings. 1. Get your DDNS hostname. To use Media Streamer smoothly, you need to first get a DDNS hostname. A DDNS hostname is a fixed point of reference so that, even if your IP address is continually changed by your internet service provider, ExpressVPN can still identify you and provide you with Media Streamer access. Note, Dyna's standard free service is perfectly sufficient for most users. You do not need to create more than the four free host names in order to use Media Streamer. Go to https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and click create account. Create your account to receive the account verification email from Dynu. Open the link in the verification email then log into your account on https colon slash slash www.dynu.com and select DDNS services. Click on and add to add a DDNS service. If you do not have a host name already, enter your desired host name in option 1 and click and add. This is the recommended option FO users who are not familiar with domain names. If you already have your own domain name, enter your domain name in option 2 and click and add. Once done, you will see your host name and your current public IP. Uncheck both wildcard alias and enable IPv6 address and click save. Next, follow this guide to set up the Dynu DDNS service on your router. Note, limited range of routers supported. And that's it. Your DDNS host name is set up and ready to be used. 2. How to register a host name on expressvpn.com. Go to www.expressvpn.com and click on my account on the top header bar. Sign in using your account information. After signing in, click DNS settings in the top header bar. Under dynamic DNS registration, enter the host name you want to register and click save host name. After the process is completed, you will see an indication that the host name has been updated. Note, it can take up to 10 minutes for ExpressVPN to detect the IP change. 3. Access network status. Click the menu button on your remote. On the TV's menu setting, navigate to network and click enter, enter, on the remote. Under network, go to network status and click enter, enter, on the remote. 4. Access IP settings. Wait for the TV to check your internet connection. Once completed, the TV should list a few options on the screen. Navigate to IP settings and click enter, enter, on the remote. 5. Change DNS settings. In the IP settings menu, navigate to DNS setting and click enter, enter, on the remote. Select enter manually. When prompted for the DNS server address, enter the ExpressVPN Media Streamer DNS server address. To find the Media Streamer DNS server address, sign into your ExpressVPN account, click set up ExpressVPN, and then navigate to the Media Streamer section. Once you've entered the new DNS address, click enter, enter, on the remote to save the settings. Next, navigate to OK and click enter, enter, on the remote. 6. Validate connection success. Wait while the TV checks your internet connection again. If you entered the DNS server address incorrectly, the TV will notify you that there is no internet connection. If so, repeat step 3 above. If you entered the correct DNS server address, you should see the following message, you are connected to the internet. Navigate to close and click enter, enter, on the remote. 7. Restore DNS settings. To restore your original DNS settings, repeat step 3 above but select get automatically in the DNS settings.